Lecture 25. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Virtual University's course on Business and Technical Communication. In today's lecture, we will look at general reports, we will look at the different varieties of report writing situations and how your readers will want to use the information that you provide. We will also look at the, read, uh, the questions that readers ask most often and I will be showing you some sample outlines and we will look at a planning guide and some sample reports. We will also look at a general superstructure for reports. This will include the introduction, the method of obtaining data, uh, facts, then the third section will be facts, the discussion, conclusion and recommendations. Reports come in many varieties such as you could have a 100 page report on a 7 month project to test a special method of uh, venting high speed uh, engines for using space vehicles or you could have a 12 page report based on library research to determine which long distance telephone company provides the most reliable service or you could even have a two paragraph report based upon a manufacturing company's a manufacturing engineer's visit to a new plant that is about to be put into service. Alternatively you could have a 200 page report addressed to the general public concerning the environmental impact of say mining in certain portions of public land in Balochistan. So it could be a report could be uh, any of these and it could uh, be have the scope, the size and the purpose of any of these types of reports. So as you can see there is a big variety in the type of reports that uh, you can write. It is not on only uh, short reports or long reports which uh, would be seen as formal reports even something as small as two paragraphs written by an individual would be seen to be a report. Um, so as these examples suggest there are many ways bohat tarike hain jin mein reports likhi jaye aur ye sare tarike ek dusre se mukhtalif hain aur ek insaan ki report dusre insaan ki report se bhi bohat mukhtalif hogi because it will depend on many different factors even if the topic is the same there would be many other other variables which will change one report from another uh, one variable one such variable is the source of information different people use different sources of information depending on what the nature of the report is what the purpose of the report it report is you may base your report on information gathered from one or more of a wide variety of sources including your own research, reading and interviews. Jo bhi aapki sources hain information ki jahan se aap information lenge, zahir hai aap jab aap ek report likhenge to sari information aapke paas pehle se maujood nahi hogi. Aapko different different mukhtalif jaghaon se wo information leni hogi. Ab wo aapki apni research ho sakti hai, aapne kuch uh, interviews conduct kiya ho, aapne ja ke kahi se experiments kiya ho etc. Aapne khud koi reading ki ho. ये सब different sources हैं जिनको आप combine करके अपनी report में जिनका जहाँ से जिनका result आप combine करके अपनी report में लिखेंगे. Also, the amount of time that you spend gathering your information also varies from person to person, from report to report. Uh, it could be you could take just a few minutes to gather your information, or you could take many years to gather your information. It all depends on the scope of your report. Agar ek choti report hai, to phir aap shayad chand minto mein hi aapko information jo is report mein dalni hai, wo aapke paas aapko mil jai, baak information aapke paas pehle se ho. Agar bohat lambi uh, report hai, jo ke uh, hundreds of pages ke upar spread out hai, to shayad aapko kai saal lag jai, uski, uske liye information dhunne mein, to ye to vary karega situation to situation mein. Also, the number of readers, your report may have only one reader or a variety of readers, uh, many, many readers. That would also, the number of readers would also determine the uh, scope of your report, the size and the extent of, of your uh, research. Uh, linked to the number of readers then is the kind of readers. Your readers may be people employed in your own organization or they may be employed in other organizations. In some situations you may address the general public. The different kisam ke log honge jo aapki report padhenge. Shayad wo aapki apni organization mein ho. Agar 
ऐसे लोग हैं जो आपके अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम करते हैं तो शायद आपकी रिपोर्ट जो है वो शायद कम फॉर्मल हो अगर आपके रीडर्स जो हैं वो किसी और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम करते हैं तो फिर आपकी रिपोर्ट भी उसी के हिसाब से ज्यादा फॉर्मल होगी और अगर जनरल पब्लिक के लिए आप रिपोर्ट लिख रहे हैं तो फिर वो उस हिसाब से आप लिखेंगे कि ये एक जनरल पब्लिक ने पढ़नी है एक बहुत बड़ी ऑडियंस ने पढ़नी है अब ये तो बात हो, हो गई कि आपके रीडर्स कितने हैं और किस किस्म के हैं या कहा बेस्ड हैं लेकिन इसी के साथ यू वी विल ऑल्सो लुक एट हाउ यू रीडर्स विल वॉन्ट टू पुट द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट द रीड हाउ विल दे वॉन्ट टू पुट दैट इन टू यूज आखिर वो जो इन्फॉर्मेशन उनको मिल रही है उसका वो किस तरह से किस किस्म से इस्तेमाल करेंगे एंड डिस्पाइट ऑल द डिफरेंसेज दैट वी सॉ अमंग्स रिपोर्ट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल रिपोर्ट राइटिंग सिचुएशन हैव वन फैक्टर इन कॉमन and that is as i said that your readers will want to put the information that you provide to some professional or practical use jo bhi aap information unko denge aapke padhne wale usko kisi na kisi tarah istemal karenge ya usko wo professionally istemal karenge ya kisi tarah practically istemal karenge lekin uska wo koi na koi istemal zarur hoga tabhi wo report ko padhenge agar wo unke matlab ki nahi hogi to wo usko padhenge hi nahi Uh, for example your readers uh, may want to use your information to solve an organizational problem um, where typical goals are to increase efficiency and profit for example uh, or they might uh, use it to solve a social problem where typical goals would be to improve the general health and welfare of groups of people or a personal problem where typical goals are to satisfy individual preferences and values the so the way your readers will use your communication is very important and why is it important it's important because obviously if you are aware of how your readers will be using your information then that is uh, that will determine to a large extent how you will present that information jab aapko ek andaza hoga ki aapke readers information ko kis tarah use karenge to phir aap usi ko madde nazar rakh ke apni information उस हिसाब से प्रेजेंट करेंगे कि उनको इस्तेमाल करने में उस इन्फॉर्मेशन को आसानी हो वेन रीडर्स आर ट्राइंग टू यूज द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट दे फाइंड इन योर रिपोर्ट दे यूजली आस द सेम बेसिक क्वेश्चन ऑल रीडर्स हैव द सेम बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट राइज इन देयर माइंड एंड दिस जनरल सुपर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर रिपोर्ट इज अ पैटर्न दैट राइटर्स एंड रीडर्स हैव फाउंड टू बी सक्सेसफुल फॉर आंसरिंग दीज बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड वी टू हैव अ लुक एट Uh, these questions in a in a moment uh, but basically what you need to remember is that all readers will have a basic set of questions that they will be asking of themselves and of the material that they are reading the typical questions that are asked by readers are uh, questions like what will be gain from this report aakhir ye report padh ke hame kya milega hame kya fayda hai so you need to explain your communications relevance to the readers uh, interests responsibilities and concerns since most people at work want to read only those communications that are directly useful to them so if the reader feels that the communication is not useful to them or is not relevant to them then they will not be interested in wasting their time reading it because they are busy people and they have a lot of other things to do then read reports which are irrelevant to them so it's important that your report uh, conveys to your reader the relevance and what the reader will gain from reading that report also another question that all readers want to know is if the facts that are presented in the report if they are reliable so they will be asking are your facts reliable is this report reliable or not uh, readers want to be certain that the facts you supply will provide a sound basis for the decisions or actions zahir hai aapki report padh ke aapki bhi yahi ummeed hai aur readers bhi yahi uh, isliye report pad rahe hain ki wo report padhne ke baad wo koi na koi decision lenge ya koi action lenge ab ye zaruri hai ki unko ye pata ho ki jo bhi aapne facts apni report mein likhe hue hain wo itne solid hain itne reliable hain ki unki basis ke upar wo koi decision le sake या ये है कि जो फैक्ट्स हैं वो शायद इतने ठोस ही नहीं है इतने मुस्बत नहीं है और उनकी बेसिस पे अगर वो कोई डिसीजन लेंगे तो शायद वो गलत डिसीजन हो जाए अगर ऐसी बात है तो जाहिर है 
वो उन फैक्ट्स को ट्रस्ट नहीं करेंगे सो यू हैव टू बी श्योर दैट योर फैक्ट्स आर रिलायबल सो दैट योर रीडर कैन ट्रस्ट यू एंड द रीडर कैन ट्रस्ट द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ ऑफ योर फैक्ट्स एंड द सोर्सेज वे यू गॉट द फैक्ट्स फ्रॉम एंड अदर क्वेश्चन दैट रीडर्स मोस्ट ऑफ एन आस्क इज वट डू यू नो दैट इज यूजफुल टू अस रीडर्स ओनली वॉन्ट यू टू चेल दैम ओनली दोज फैक्ट्स दैट दे मस्ट नो to do the job that lies before them not everything that you know about your subject aapko to jo apne subject ke bare mein shayad bahut zyada pata hoga lekin jo padhne wala hai usko sirf wo information chahiye jo unke interest mein hai wo ye nahi chahte ki aapko apne subject ke bare mein jo pata hai aap sara unko bataye the purpose of the report is not to impress the readers with your knowledge but to provide the reader with key concise information that is of use to them टू द रीडर अगर आप अपनी जितनी भी नॉलेज है वो सारी झाड़ेंगे वो सारी रिपोर्ट में बताएंगे लेकिन उसमें से एक फीसद भी रीडर के काम की नहीं है तो वो रिपोर्ट उस पढ़ने वाले के लिए यूजलेस है एक आ, उन, उनका टाइम जया करने वाली बात है एनादर बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डू यू इंटरप्रेट दो फैक्ट्स फ्रॉम आवर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू द रीडर्स विल वॉन्ट टू नो दैट वट एवर फैक्ट्स यू हैव कलेक्टेड what is your interpretation from the readers point of view keeping in mind the readers need keeping in mind what your audience needs to know how have you interpreted those facts keeping the audience's main goals in mind you have to remember that facts standing alone are meaningless and to give facts meaning people must interpret them by pointing out relationships or patterns amongst them जो भी आप फैक्ट्स जमा करेंगे उनमें आपस में कोई रिलेशनशिप्स हों कोई पैटर्न्स हों उनको आपने पॉइंट आउट करना है और वो ही उन फैक्ट्स की इंटरप्रिटेशन होगी खाली सिर्फ फैक्ट्स बताना जो है वो बेमकसद बेमानी होगा फॉर एग्जांपल, इफ यू से द सेल्स फिगर्स शो अ राइजिंग डिमांड फॉर टू प्रोडक्ट्स बट नॉट फॉर टू अदर प्रोडक्ट्स दिस वे यू आर शोइंग अ रिलेशनशिप Uh, between the two products through the sales figures if you just list the sales figures there is no interpretation you are just listing the facts saying there were so many uh, of this type of product sold in 99 so many sold in 2000 2001 etc but you're not showing any relationship between them so you're not doing any interpretation of those facts and you're leaving it to the reader to interpret the fact and that is not what the reader wants the idea of a report is that you are going to interpret the fact you are going to use your brain keeping in mind the purpose that the reader has for reading your report and then give an interpretation give some kind of a correlation between different items usually your readers will want you to make these interpretations rather than then leave the readers to work them out kyunki zahir hai wo report isliye pad rahe hain ki aap wo interpretations kare aur aap unko interpretations bataye another question that uh, readers will most likely ask is how are these facts significant to us jo bhi aapne unko facts diye jo bhi baatein batayi wo us kahenge hamare liye ki aakhir aap kyun samajh rahe hain ki ye hamare liye zaruri hain aapne hame ye kyun bata rahe hain isliye zaruri hai ki aapki report ye madde nazar rakhe ki audience ke liye kya zaruri hai aur wo unko uski jo ahmiyat hai wo pata chal sake readers generally want you to go beyond an interpretation of the facts to explain what the facts mean in terms of the reader's responsibilities interests or goals pehle aap to apne facts agar bata diye unko interpret bhi kar diya ab aapne ye bhi batana hai ki inka actually is interpretation se ki repercussions kya hain is interpretation ki wajah se audience ne kya karna hai unki reader ki responsibilities kya hain uske interests aur goals ke mutabik और उनके इंटरेस्ट और गोल्स को ये जो इंटरप्रिटेशन है ये किस तरह मैच करती है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आप इस तरह कहें द डिमांड फॉर वन प्रोडक्ट फॉल्स ड्यूरिंग दिस सीजन एवरी ईयर दो नॉट क्वाइट दिस शार्पली द फॉलोइंग डिमांड फॉर द अदर मे सिग्नल दैट द प्रोडक्ट इज नो लॉन्गर कम्पेटिटिव अब इस तरह की डिस्कशन से इंटरप्रिटेशन की डिस्कशन से आप ये बता रहे हैं रीडर को कि जो डिमांड है जो कि कम हो रही है दिखा रही है कि ये जो प्रोडक्ट है ये अभी तक कंपेटिटिव नहीं रहा तो आप रीडर को एक 
एक तरह से आप उनको पक्की पकाई रोटी दे रहे हैं क्योंकि आपने जो भी फैक्ट्स हैं उसको इंटरप्रेट करके उसको ये भी रीडर को ये भी दिखा रहे हैं कि ये उनके साथ किस तरह रिलेट करता है और इस इंटरप्रिटेशन का एक्चुअली मतलब क्या है इन रियल लाइफ टर्म्स एन अदर कॉमनली आस्ड क्वेश्चन इज वट डू यू थिंक वी शुड डू रीडर्स ये भी चाहते हैं कि उस रिपोर्ट से उनको ये पता चले कि अब उनने आगे क्या करना है बिकॉज यू एज ए रिपोर्ट राइटर वुड हैव स्टडीड ऑल द फैक्ट्स इन डिटेल योर रीडर्स विल ऑफन वॉन्ट यू टू टेल दैम वॉट एक्शन यू थिंक दे शुड टेक बिकॉज दे आर लुकिंग एट यू एज द एक्सपर्ट नाउ इन दैट फील्ड सिंस यू हैव डन ऑल द रिसर्च एंड यू प्रोबेबली नो मोर अबाउट दैट एरिया देन दे डू बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू डिड ऑल द रिसर्च टू राइट दैट रिपोर्ट तो इसलिए आपको ज्यादा पता है और वो चाह रहे हैं कि अब आप उनको बताएं कि उन्हें इन सारी चीजों की बेसिस के ऊपर क्या एक्शन लेना है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू शुड कंटिन्यू टू प्रोड्यूस द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट बट मॉनिटर इट्स फ्यूचर सेल्स क्लोजली यू शुड फाइंड अ वे टू इम्प्रूव द सेकेंड प्रोडक्ट और एल्स क्विट प्रोड्यूसिंग इट अब इस टाइप की एक रिकमेंडेशन जो है ये बहुत जरूरी है कि आपकी रिपोर्ट में हो जो भी जाहिर है आपका आपकी रिपोर्ट जिस चीज के भी बारे में है उस चीज के बारे में बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट टेल्स द रीडर वॉट दे शुड डू सो दीज सिक्स क्वेश्चन आर वेरी जनरल इन फैक्ट फॉर लार्ज रिपोर्ट पीपल नीड टू टेक हंड्रेड इवन थाउजेंड ऑफ पेजेस टू आंसर दैम बट दीज आर दिक्स की क्वेश्चन दैट नीड टू बी आंसर इन अ गुड रिपोर्ट एंड द रीजन that people uh, will ask these questions and the reason that it they that they are important is because business people seek answers to these basic questions by asking multitude of more specific subsidiary questions so although dekhne mein to ye sirf 6 sawal hain lekin inko inka jawab dena jo hai wo shayad khasa pechida bhi ho sakta hai khasa lamba bhi ho sakta hai it can take up to hundreds of pages बिकॉज दीज क्वेश्चन आर नॉट ओनली सिक्स क्वेश्चन हर एक सवाल से लिंक्ड और भी बहुत से सवाल हैं जिनके फिर जवाब देने पड़ते हैं ना लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द जनरल सुपर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रिपोर्ट के जो रिपोर्ट होती हैं उनका एक स्ट्रक्चर क्या होता है और फिर जाहिर है उस स्ट्रक्चर के अंदर मजीद उसमें उस रिपोर्ट में डिविजन होंगी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पर्पज एंड द स्कोप Uh, the time involved and the type of readership that is there for that report but the general superstructure of reports contains six elements and these six elements correspond to each of the six questions that we just looked at uh the uh, every report will have an introduction a, um a section which talks about the method of obtaining data or the method of obtaining facts then there will be a section of on facts a discussion a conclusion and a section on recommendations as we just uh, looked at uh, earlier on in this lecture in some brief reports for example the writers begin with a recommendation uh, move to a paragraph in which the facts and conclusions are treated together zaruri nahi hai ki ye sare sections alag alag hi ho lekin ye sab cheeze address hongi ek report mein to ek agar choti hai report तो उसमें जो राइटर्स हैं वो एक वो शायद रिकमेंडेशन से शुरू करें उसके बाद एक पैराग्राफ में फैक्ट्स और कंक्लूजन्स को एक साथ डील करें एंड देन दे मे स्टेट देयर सोर्सेज ऑफ दे ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन ए कंक्लूडिंग सिंगल सेंटेंस पैराग्राफ अदर पीपल समटाइम्स प्रेजेंट टू और मोर ऑफ द सिक्स एलिमेंट्स अंडर सिंगल हेडिंग फॉर इंस्टेंस दे मे इंक्लूड इन दर इंट्रोडक्शन information about how they obtain their facts and they frequently present and interpret their facts in a single section of their report so although all these things will be looked at they may be combined together they may be subsumed together but they will be addressed jis tarah ke humne dekha ke introduction mein ye information bhi di ja sakti hai ke data facts kis tarah collect kiye gaye aur phir interpretation or presentation jo hai facts ki वो एक साथ भी दी जा सकती है इन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ रिपोर्ट यू आंसर योर रीडर्स क्वेश्चन व्हाट विल बी गेन बाय रीडिंग योर रिपोर्ट अगर आपको याद हो हमने जो जब बात की थी कि जो रीडर्स हैं वो बेसिक क्वेश्चंस सब रीडर्स पूछते हैं अपने आप से उस रिपोर्ट से और सबसे मेन क्वेश्चन ये था दैट 
वट विल वी गेन बाई रीडिंग दिस रिपोर्ट और इस चीज का जवाब इस सवाल का जवाब जो है वो इंट्रोडक्शन में रीडर को मिल जाना चाहिए जाहिर है जब शुरू में ही उनको जवाब मिल जाएगा कि आपको इस रिपोर्ट से क्या हासिल होगा तब भी वो रिपोर्ट आगे पढ़ेंगे ना कि उसका जवाब ही कहीं एंड में लिखा हुआ हो तो तब तक वहां तक तो वो शायद पहुंचे ही ना कंसिडर फॉर इंस्टेंस द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ अ रिपोर्ट रिटन बाय आयशा हु इज एन एम्प्लॉय ऑफ अ यूनिवर्सिटीज फंड रेजिंग ऑफिस एंड आयशा वॉज आस्ट टू इन्वेस्टिगेट द यूनिवर्सिटीज फैसिलिटीज एंड प्रोग्राम इन हॉर्स पैक राइडिंग अब हम एग्जाम्पल लेंगे आयशा का जो एक यूनिवर्सिटी में काम करती है उस यूनिवर्सिटी के एक का एक फंड रेजिंग प्रोग्राम है उसके ऑफिस में उस ऑफिस में वो काम करती हैं और स्पेसिफिकली उनसे कहा गया कि वो आप एक रिपोर्ट लिखिए आप इन्वेस्टिगेट करें कि इस यूनिवर्सिटी की फैसिलिटीज और प्रोग्राम हॉर्स पैक राइडिंग के हवाले से क्या हैं बिकॉज द रीडर सर्वर had uh, assigned her to prepare that report she could tell him what he would gain by simply to remind him why he had asked her to write the report jo bhi the server for example agar unka naam tha jinne aisha ko kaha ki aap ye report likhe to aisha ne apne report mein shuru mein server ko ye yaad dilaya ki server ne hi is report ko talab kiya tha aur uska unka maqsad kya tha wo kya chahte the is report se is tarah उनने उनको रिमाइंड करा दिया कि ये रिपोर्ट उनके लिए पढ़ना जरूरी क्यों है और वो उससे क्या चीज हासिल करेंगे शी सेट दिस डिड दिस बाय राइटिंग अ सेंटेंस लाइक इन दिस रिपोर्ट आई प्रेजेंट द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू वांटेड टू हैव बिफोर डिसाइडिंग वेदर टू प्लेस द न्यू यूनिवर्सिटी टेबल्स ऑन नेक्स्ट ईयर लिस्ट ऑफ मेजर फंडिंग ड्राइव इन लॉन्गर रिपोर्ट योर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द रेलिवेंस ऑफ द रिपोर्ट टू योर रीडर्स मे टेक मेनी पेजेस in which you will tell such things as what problem your report will help to solve what activities you performed towards solving that problem and how your audience can apply your information in their own effort towards solving that problem to aap batayenge lambi reports mein aap ye bata sakte hain ki aapne aapki report se kya masle hal honge kya problems hal honge Uh, आपने आखिर क्या एक्टिविटीज की क्या ऐसे काम किए जो uh, जिनसे आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिली कि ये प्रॉब्लम किस तरह सॉल्व होगी और फिर आपके जो पढ़ने वाले हैं वो क्या करेंगे जिससे जो भी uh, दी गई हुई प्रॉब्लम है उसका हल हो सके ऑल्सो बिसाइड्स टेलिंग योर रीडर्स व्हाट योर कम्युनिकेशन ऑफर्स दैम योर इंट्रोडक्शन मे सर्व मेनी अदर फंक्शन एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ दिस दीज फंक्शन is to tell the readers the main points of the report ek to cheez jo ke introduction mein zaruri hai wo ye hai ke readers ko usse report se kya hasil hoga dusri jo cheez hai aur khase points hain jo introduction mein cover ho sakte hain lekin dusra ek jo main important point hai wo ye hai ke report ke andar report ka main point kya hai main idea kya hai in most reports your main point विल बी योर मेजर कंक्लूजन एंड रिकमेंडेशन जाहिर है जो आपने कंक्लूजन किए हैं जो रिकमेंडेशन हैं जो आप चाहते हैं कि एक्शन लिए जाए वो आपका मेन पॉइंट है क्योंकि जो क्रक्स है आपकी रिपोर्ट का आपके आर्ग्यूमेंट का वो उन रिकमेंडेशन और कंक्लूजन में मिलेगा यू शुड सेव अ फुल डिस्कशन हाउ एवर ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स फॉर द सेक्शन डिवोटेड टू दैम एट द एंड ऑफ योर रिपोर्ट ये नहीं कि आपने इंट्रोडक्शन में ही सारी कंक्लूजन और सारी रिकमेंडेशन दे देनी है उनके लिए तो आपका एक सेपरेट सेक्शन होगा ही रिपोर्ट के एंड में लेकिन इंट्रोडक्शन में आप उनका हवाला जरूर देंगे आप ये बताएंगे कि आपकी मेन रिकमेंडेशन और मेन कंक्लूजन क्या हैं योर रीडर्स विल अप्रिशिएट दिस ब्रीफ समरी ऑफ द फुल डिस्कशन पर हैप्स इवन इन जस्ट इन अटेंस और टू इन योर इंट्रोडक्शन इट डजेंट नीड टू बी वेरी लॉन्ग बट योर ऑडियंस विल अप्रिशिएट this the a brief summary a brief uh, note to them as to what they should expect by the time they come to the end of the report um let's go back to the example of aisha the university employee writing a report about the stables and see how how she provided such a summary in the second third and fourth sentences of her horseback riding report aaj humne pehla sentence humne dekha tha jisme unne पर्पज बताया उस रिपोर्ट का कि वो रिपोर्ट उन्हें क्यों लिखी गई उन्हें सर्वर को रिमाइंड कराया कि उन्हें 
रिपोर्ट मांगी थी और वो उस क्यों मांगी थी वो क्या डिसीजन लेना चाह रहे थे अब दूसरे तीसरे और चौथे सेंटेंस में वो समरी दे रही हैं अपनी कंक्लूजन और रिकमेंडेशन की शी सेज ओवरऑल इट वुड सीम दैट द स्टेबल्स वुड मेक अ गुड फंड रेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द करंट प्रोग्राम ऑफर देयर द कंडीशन ऑफ द करंट फेसिलिटीज एंड द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अ लॉयल कोर ऑफ अलमनाय हु यूज द फेसिलिटीज वाइल अंडर ग्रेजुएट्स द फंड रेजिंग शुड फोकस ऑन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ न्यू बार्न कॉस्टिंग हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर्स एन एडिशन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर्स could be sought for a much needed arena and classroom but i recommend that this construction be saved for a future fundraising drive jaise ki aapne dekha in teen jumlon mein unne apni conclusions de di aur aakhri jumle mein unne recommendation bhi de di ke ye jo construction unne ek conclusion di hai ki ye construction honi chahiye ki ye wali construction jo hai ye dobara se hum uske liye funds jama kare jabki baaki hum abhi kar sakte hain and in brief reports For example, one-page memos, a statement of your main points may even replace the conclusions and recommendations that would otherwise appear at the end. Zahir, if there is a small report, one page is enough. For example, if there is, then there will not be any answer that you say in the introduction first, then you say the main points, then you say the conclusions and recommendations, and then at the end of that page, you say the main points, conclusions and recommendations. So, it is a small report that will be read by the foreigner. तो उसमें फिर आप उसकी जगह आप सिर्फ मेन पॉइंट्स ही स्टेट करें ठीक से और कंक्लूजन रिकमेंडेशन तो जल्द ही पढ़ने वाले को मिल जाएंगी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दैट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट योर मेन पॉइंट इज स्टेटेड एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एवरी कम्युनिकेशन फाइव अदर इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन दैट एन इंट्रोडक्शन में सर्व आर टू टेल यू हाउ द रिपोर्ट इज ऑर्गेनाइज आउटलाइनिंग इट्स स्कोप एंड एनकरेजिंग ओपननेस to your message and they will also provide background information that the reader will need in order to understand the rest of your report now these five functions are uh, the talking about the method of obtaining uh, facts the facts discussion conclusions recommendations jaise ki humne pehle list mein dekha tha to ab yahan tak to humne baat ki thi introduction ki ab baki jo hain sections inko dekhte hain the method of obtaining facts in a report your discussion of your model of obtaining your facts can serve a wide variety of purposes report readers want to assess the reliability of the facts you present your discussion of your method tells them how and where you got your facts to jabke ek jo purpose hai aapke model batane ka ki aapne facts kis tarah obtain kiye wo to ye hai ki isse aapke padhne walon ko ye pata chalega ki aapke सोर्सेज कितनी रिलायबल हैं आपका मेथड कितना रिलायबल है आपकी डिस्कशन जो है उन चीजों की वो दुरुस्त भी है या नहीं है और उनसे ये भी पता चलेगा कि आपने अपने फैक्ट्स जो हैं आपको आपकी इन्फॉर्मेशन कहां से मिली और कैसे मिली इट आल्सो सजेस्ट टू योर रीडर्स हाउ दे कैन गेन एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द सेम सब्जेक्ट अब जाहिर है आपने उस सब्जेक्ट के बारे में सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो अपनी रिपोर्ट में नहीं लिखी है लेकिन जब आप अपनी डिस्कशन करेंगे कि हमने इस तरह ये इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑब्टेन की तो अगर कोई रीडर्स होंगे जो कि उस टॉपिक के बारे में मजीद इन्फॉर्मेशन हासिल करना चाहेंगे तो फिर वो भी उसी तरीके से हासिल कर सकते हैं इफ यू ऑप्टेन यू इन्फॉर्मेशन थ्रू रीडिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू डायरेक्ट योर रीडर्स टू दो सोर्सेज दैट यू रेड इफ यू ऑप्टेन यू इन्फॉर्मेशन थ्रू एन एक्सपेरिमेंट सर्वे or any other special technique your account of your method may help others design similar projects to jo aapne jis tarah kiya usi tarah aapke baad karne wale ya research karne wale ya aapke padhne wale jo research karenge usi topic pe wo bhi aapki techniques ko apna sakte hain un us tarah further information further material le sakte hain in her investigation of the university tables aisha gathered her information through interviews she reported her method in the following way aisha ne interviews istemal kiye aur unne is tarah bataya ke unne interviews istemal kiye hain she said or she wrote i obtained the information given below from junaid the stable manager also at last month's alumni weekend i spoke with a half dozen alumni interested in their in their writing programs so by including these couple of sentences in her report aisha has told the reader 
that if you want more information, this is where to go to, this is how to go about it. And also sometimes it also helps the reader to know where the information is from because if the, if say the sources are insufficient or if the readers feel, a reader feels that these, uh, the Aisha could have consulted many other sources, then uh, that then shows that the report might not be very reliable because Aisha has just talked to two sources, alumni and the uh, stable manager, but there were many, many other people that she could have talked to, maybe current students, which were a large uh, body of uh, people who, who could influence the decision. So if, uh, if uh, the report is missing out on a substantial source, then that also becomes apparent to the reader as a, va as a check of reliability. Of the, of the factors. Now, this is the fact that you have facts ko apne kis tarha discuss kis tarha kiya hai unki sources ko. Now, let's have a look at the facts themselves. Your facts are the individual pieces of evidence that underlie and support your conclusions and recommendations. If your report, like Aisha's, is based upon interviews, your facts are the things people told you. If your report is based upon laboratory, field or library research, then your facts are the verifiable pieces of information that you gathered. Zahire interviews jo hain, wo verify us tarah se nahi kiya ja sakte, jis tarah se koi library se cheez li ke, ya kahin kisi kitab mein jo cheez padi ho, ya jo experiment kiya gaya ho, wo verify kiya ja sakte, kyunki wo to jab repeat bhi hoga, to wo hi cheez milegi, ya ek kitab mein se agar koi information li gai hai, to jab us kitab ko dobara kholenge, to wo hi information milegi. But in the interview, there is a lot of chance that if you ask those people from the same question, then maybe they will give some different answers. So that's why different uh, sources, different types of facts have different types of uh, meanings as far as the report is concerned. And uh, some, some facts are verifiable and some are not verifiable. If your report is based upon your efforts to design a new product, procedure or systems. Then your facts are the various aspects of the thing you designed or created. Uh, you may present your facts in a section of their own or you may combine your presentation of your facts with your discussion of them. If you want, you can discuss your facts in a different section mein discuss kare, ya, or if you want, uh, facts or discussion jo facts ki hai, unko ek section mein combine karke aap uh, audience tak uh, Taken alone, facts mean nothing. They are a table of data, a series of isolated observations or pieces of information without meaning. So, they should never be presented on their own without a discussion either attached to them or uh, intermingled with them or following them. If you have a discussion in the report and you have facts present, and you will tell us that we have facts, now we have a little bit of an explanation or discussion, then this is wrong. In the case of facts, there is nothing, they are only isolated pieces of information. When you don't discuss them and you don't put any interpretation on them. So, an essential element of every report that you prepare will be your discussion of the facts in which you interpret the facts in a, uh, in a way which is significant to your research. Jo bhi aap, jo facts aap ne dekhe hain, jo facts aap ne uncover kiye hain, unko aap us tarah interpret karenge, jo ke aap ki research ke hawale se hoga, aur aap ki research ke liye important hoga. Sometimes writers have trouble distinguishing between a presentation of the facts and the discussion of, uh, of these facts. Let's have a look at an example that will help you in uh, making this distinction clear. Imagine that you observe that when the temperature on the floor of your factory is 65 degrees Fahrenheit, workers pr produce 3% rejected parts. When it is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, they produce 4% rejected parts. When it is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, they produce 4.5% rejected parts. And when it is 80 Fahrenheit, they produce 7% rejected parts. If you were to say, as the temperature rises above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so, does, so too does the percentage of rejected parts. You would be interpreting those facts. If, however, you, had, you just list 
the uh, temperatures and the corresponding number of rejected parts or percentage of rejected pa rejected parts that are produced then you would just be listing the facts lekin aap jab saath mein type ka ek sentence bhi likhenge ki as the temperatures rise above 70 degrees so too does the percentage of rejected parts to phir aap apni interpretation bhi de rahe hain you are making it easier for the reader to look at the correlation between the rise of temperature and the increase in the amount of rejected parts being produced so and of course in many larger report in uh, in many reports a larger reports you would be dealing with much larger and more complicated sets of facts that would require much more sophisticated and extended interpretation but this is just an example so that uh, to give you an idea ke facts akele kya hote hain aur unki interpretation bhi jab saath ho to wo kya hoti hai uh the as far as the discussion is concerned in many of the communications that you write in many of the reports that you write you will weave your discussion of the facts together with your presentation of the facts zaruri nahi hai ki har ek mein pehle aapne facts ko present kiya ho aur phir aapne discuss kiya ho unko ya phir unke bare mein jumla likha jis tarah ke humne kaha bahut samay ye hoga ki aapki jo presentation hai facts ki aur aapki jo discussion hai wo saath ke saath ek dusre ke saath buni hui hogi in such situations the interpretations often serve as the topic sentences for paragraphs pehle aap interpretation denge bahut se cases mein jo ki ek paragraph ka topic sentence ban jayega aur phir aap facts present karenge let's have a look at a paragraph in which aisha uh, our uh, person working in a university that we looked at mixes her facts and discussion uh, the interpretation is in the form of a topic sentence where she says the university's horseback riding courses have grown substantially in recent years due largely to the enthusiastic and effective leadership of mr junaid who took over as table manager 5 years ago yahan tak mr junaid ke batane tak ke mr junaid ki effective leadership ki wajah se university ki horseback riding jo hai courses jo hain wo zyada popular ho gaye hain ye thi interpretation phir unhone bataya ki mr junaid the kaun and now she talks of the facts when mr junaid arrived the university offered three courses beginning intermediate and advanced riding since then two new courses have been added one in mounted instruction and one in the training of horses ab ye hai hard core facts jinke jinko koi dispute nahi kar sakta nahi kar sakta ki jab mr junaid ne join kiya tab teen courses hote the aur ab do aur courses add ho gaye hain और जो इन इनकी इनकी इन फैक्ट्स के बेसिस पे जो इंटरप्रिटेशन है कि ये कोर्सेज इसलिए ऐड हुए हैं क्योंकि पॉपुलैरिटी बढ़ गई है ये शुरू में कह दी गई है ना वेदर यू इंटरग्रेट योर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड डिस्कशन टुगेदर ऑफ द फैक्ट्स और यू ट्रीट द टू सेपरेटली इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर दैट योर रीडर्स काउंट अपॉन यू to select the facts that are relevant to them humne ye baat pehle bhi ki ki jo aap information denge report mein wo aisi hogi ki aapke readers ke liye relevant hogi so whatever facts you choose to include in your report and and whatever facts you choose to interpret you have to make sure that they are relevant to your readers because the reader is trusting you to tell them things that are relevant to them not things that are irrelevant or um and, and the reader is not also expecting you to hide things from them which may be relevant so it's your duty to uh, tell them all that you have found that you feel would be relevant to them and tell it as it really is they also count on you to discuss these facts in a way that is meaningful to them is tarah un facts ko interpret kare is tarah unki discussion kare ke उस डिस्कशन को पढ़ के उनको आसानी हो डिसीजंस लेने में उनको काम करने में आसानी हो उनके लिए भी कोई फायदा हो तो ये तो बात हो गई फैक्ट्स uh, की और इनकी डिस्कशंस की नाउ लेट्स कम टू द कंक्लूजंस लाइक इंटरप्रिटेशंस कंक्लूजंस आर जनरल स्टेटमेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन योर फैक्ट्स एक तो हमने बात की कि इंटरप्रिटेशन जो हैं वो भी आपके फैक्ट्स पर बेस्ड होती हैं इसी तरह कंक्लूजन्स भी आपके फैक्ट्स के ऊपर ही बेस्ड होती हैं हाउ एवर focus not simply on interpreting the facts but on answering the reader's question of how are these facts significant to us humne pehle baat ki ki jo padhne wale hain wo ye sawal zarur puchte hain ki ye jo facts hain ye hamare liye kyun zaruri hain 
And this is what the conclusion tells them. This is what it focuses on. So there is a difference between the conclusion and the interpretation or the discussion. The uh, conclusion tells the readers how the facts are important, why is the discussion important to them. Uh, coming back to Aisha, in her report, Aisha provided many paragraphs of information about the university writing programs, the state of the uh, current stable facilities, and the likely need, uh, likely interest amongst uh, alumni in contributing money for the new stable facilities. Um, Aisha's reader server might ask, but what exactly does all that mean in terms of my decision about whether to start a fundraising project for the stables? Aisha ne to sari information de di ke uh, university riding programs kaun kaun se hain, kaise hain, unki jo stable hai, uh, un, uski current situation kaisi hai, facilities kaisi hain, uh, jo old students hain, alumni, unka interest bar raha hai, ya unka interest hai ya nahi hai, nai stables mein. Lekin jo pannne wale hain, server, वो शायद ये भी ये सोचेंगे कि ये सब चीजें तो ठीक हैं लेकिन इसका मतलब इसको मैं किस तरह इंटरप्रेट करूं या ये जो आपने बताया है कि इंटरेस्ट बढ़ गया है एक्सेट्रा ये मेरे हवाले से किस तरह इंपॉर्टेंट है और ये मेरे लिए इसका क्या मतलब है मैं अब क्या करूं मैं फंड रेजिंग प्रोग्राम प्रोजेक्ट जो मैंने स्टार्ट करना है वो मैं करूं या ना करूं तो अब जाहिर है आयशा इस सवाल का इंतजार नहीं करेंगी उनने लेकिन उनने अपनी रिपोर्ट में पहले से ही इस सवाल का जवाब देना है शी विल anticipate and answer this question before it is asked and uh, she did this by uh, offering the following conclusions in conclusion my investigation indicates that the university's writing programs could benefit substantially from a fundraising effort however the appeal of such a program will be limited primarily to the very supportive uh, alumni who use the university's tables while students so as you see in the conclusion aisha actually tells the reader what she thinks the reader should do if there are any any limitations to her um, solution to her conclusion she also points those out wo kehti hai ki ji is tarah hame karna chahiye lekin shayad is tarah karne mein hame ek jo dushwari ho wo ye ho ke jo alumni hain sirf wo hi contribute karenge lekin jo bhi dono pehlu the wo unne point out kar diye wo unki conclusion hui now coming to recommendations just as conclusions grow out of interpretations of the facts recommendations grow out of conclusions ye ek cycle si banti hai interpretation jo hoti hai facts ki unki basis pe conclusions kiye jate hain aur conclusion ki basis pe recommendations di jati hain the recommendations answer the readers question of if you if your conclusions are valid what should we do agar aapki conclusions sahi hain agar aapka khayal hai ki ye cheez uh, इस तरह होती है या होनी चाहिए तो हमें क्या करना चाहिए डिपेंडिंग ऑन मेनी फैक्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग द नंबर एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू आर रिकमेंडिंग यू मे स्टेट योर रिकमेंडेशन इन अ सिंगल सेंटेंस और इन मेनी पेजेस इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ कॉम्प्लेक्स योर कंक्लूजन आर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ कॉम्प्लेक्स द इश्यूज दैट यू आर लुकिंग एट आर यू कैन हेल्प योर रीडर्स इमेंसली बाय स्टेटिंग योर मेजर रिकमेंडेशन इन एज फ्यू एज अ फ्यू वर्ड्स or just a few sentences uh, and this may be the only time that you present them on the other hand if your communication is long your if your report is long or if a full discussion of your recommendations requires a lot of space uh, then you can summarize your recommendations uh, generally at the beginning of your report and then treat them more extensively at the end agar aapko lage ki aapki jo report hai wo bahut lambi hai aur bahut lambi ek पूरा बहुत लंबा सेक्शन है रिकमेंडेशन का तो फिर आप उसकी एक समरी जो है वो अपनी शुरू में दे देते हैं और फिर जो पूरा सेक्शन है वो बाद में तो आप लिखते ही हैं दिस इज वॉट आयशा डेड दैट शी समराइज हर रिकमेंडेशन इन टू सेंटेंसेज इन दी फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन आपको याद होगा हमने आयशा की जब इंट्रोडक्शन पढ़ी थी तो उसमें उनने अपनी रिकमेंडेशन बता दी थी कि स्टेबल्स को नए प्रोग्राम्स होने चाहिए एक्सेट्रा और फंड रेजिंग करनी चाहिए and then she presented and explained the recommendations in three paragraphs at the end of the report now because the recommendations were long she summarized them early on as well she placed the uh, recommendations under the heading conclusions and recommendations to make them easier to find so she put conclusions and recommendations together all the readers usually want recommendations in reports 
you may encounter some situations in which you will not want to include them. Uh, that might happen, for instance, in either of the two uh, situations which follow. Uh, situa uh, situation one could be where the decision being made is clearly beyond your competence and you have been asked to provide only a small part of information uh, that your readers need to make the decision. Agar aap, uh, jo hai, aapko sirf ek chota sa kaam ki kaha gaya hai ki aap thodi si information hume dein aur shayad baaki information aur log collect kar rahe hoon to aur shayad aapke scope se bhi bahar hai recommendation dena to phir aap recommendations nahi dengi aap sirf apni information dengi apni report dengi aur jo recommendations bagara hai wo shayad aapse senior log ya aise log jinka jinki zyada competence hogi is field mein wo uh, decide karenge or the, another situation could be where you are working in a situation where the responsibility for making um, recommendations belongs to your boss or other people. You might not have the responsibility of doing it. Ek to case hai ki aap ki shat competence hi na ho, aap ko shat itti information hi na ho, jis ki base pe aap recommendations kar sakein, de sakein. Aur dousre yeh hai ki shat information beshak aap ke paas saari ho, lekin aap ki jaga wo nahi hai ki aap ne recommendations deni hai, aap ke shat seniors ne recommendations tiyar karni hai, to phir aap nahi likhenge recommendations. Nevertheless, in the usual situation, your recommendations will be expected or at least uh, welcomed. If you are uncertain about whether to provide uh, recommendations, ask your boss or the person who asked you to report. Say you've been asked to write a report, check. Ki ye jo report hai, is pe recommendations bhi apni likhni hai, ya aapko sirf facts aur unki uh, interpretation chahiye hai aur ek conclusion chahiye aur recommendations mein apne ideas apne paas rakho to ye pooch le agar aapke uh, jin jinne report mangi hai wo kehte hain ki nahi aap apni recommendations dein to phir aap zarur dein agar aapko doubt hai ki aapko recommendations aapki shayad recommendations nahi chahiye ho lekin generally recommendations are expected um, don't omit recommendations out of shyness or because you are guessing that that is what is wanted the general rule would be give recommendations unless uh, you are asked not to give them or unless you are unsure. If you are unsure, check. Now, uh, let's briefly talk about summaries as well. The summary of your report. The uh, preceding section concentrated on the elements that were found in most uh, reports written on the job. Many longer reports share another feature they are preceded by a separate summary of the report overall. A summary hoti hai jo report se pehle uh, di jati hai aur ye uh, lambi reports mein khasi common hai. Aur isko, to isko dekhte hai. These summaries are often called executive summaries because they are usually addressed to the decision makers. Executive summaries obviously are meant for people who are executives as the name suggests. They are busy people and they might not have the time to read the whole report. So you give an executive summary to help them decide whether they want to uh, read it or not and uh, to give them an idea of what is to be covered in the report. In this lecture, we looked at the different varieties of report writing situations. We looked at how your readers will want to use the information that you provide and what type of questions readers are most likely to ask. We also looked at some sample outlines and uh, some sample reports and a planning guide uh, or how to plan our reports. Uh, we also looked at a general superstructure for reports which included the introduction, the method of obtaining data, facts, the facts, discussion, conclusion and recommendations. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. If you have any queries about the assignments, please feel free to contact us. I will see you next time. Until then, Allah Hafiz.